Hello and welcome to the second edition of Rob Vlog Science. It's great to have you here again and I'm hoping that if you're here you want to know a bit more about the moon and the eight phases. This is the place to be if you want a refresher on what's going on. So let's start with this guy here, the new moon. And the new moon is where you have the, the sun, the moon and the earth all in one line. And of course, if you looked up at a new moon, you wouldn't see much light come back. It would simply be an outline of the moon. Moving on, we've got the waxing crescent, this guy here. Waxing means getting larger. So the waxing crescent is the next phase after new moon. Moving on to the first quarter. Now, the first quarter is actually a half moon, but because it's a quarter of the way through the cycle, that's how it gets its name. So please don't think it's a quarter moon, it's actually a half moon. Waxing gibbous, funny word gibbous, but this is where the moon is almost full, but not quite. Full moon, we have the sun, the earth and the moon all in one line at this point. Full moon marks the mid part of the cycle. Now we move on to the waning or the moon getting smaller with gibbous, which is over here. And shortly followed by the third quarter. Again, it's a half moon, not a quarter moon, but it is three quarters of the way, if you can imagine that, into the cycle. So it's called the third quarter. Finally, we have our waning crescent, which is the end point of the 29.5 days. Or I should say all the way back to the new moon. It's 29.5 days, aka a month. Bit of a joke, that month, but there we go. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. If you learn about the moon, you'll have to hear this funky tune. Each and every unique phase, making the most of these fun days. The moonlit sky is full of wonder, with all the science I choose to ponder. And with this rap, you'll feel the vibe. So hit the like and then subscribe.